Hi all, welcome in this series of AWS Solution Architect exam dump. So in this video we are going to take one more uh, good question related to the Redshift and uh, we will try to find out the hints provided into the questions and uh, we will try to get rid of the wrong answer. The same approach will follow for this question. So let's uh, quickly jump on the question. Uh, solution Architect is designing a disaster recovery solution for a 5TB Amazon Redshift cluster. The recovery site must be at least 500 miles from the live site. So here we got the hint point that uh, live site and another hint is that 500 miles away. How would the architect meet this requirement? So for the disaster recovery, it is looking for that uh, it needs to be deployed into the 805 kilometers away from the live site and uh, they, they mention like the live site, so one more meaning is like that. It's not just the cold backup, but the live backup need to also be replicated to the uh, disaster recovery zone. So we will quickly jump on the question. Use AWS cloud formation to deploy the cluster in the second region. So CFT cannot provide you the live update and the replication cannot be happened by using the CFT. CFT will help you to install and configure the Redshift cluster. So this is the wrong answer. The second answer is the take a snapshot of a cluster and copy it to the another availability zone. So basically AWS availability zone is not like uh, 805 kilometers far away, but uh, the distance is hardly 100 kilometers as per their document. So this is the wrong answer. So even miss like uh, in the question it is mentioned at least it must be the 805 kilometers far away. So this is the wrong answer. You cannot go with the availability zone answer. Third answer is modify the red ship cluster to spawn the two region. So here it is not like that you can you are having already the red ship cluster and you are modifying and spawning to the two region is not the option because uh, there is no replication concept in such a way and uh, you will uh, lose the live data. So this is also incorrect uh, answer. The fourth is the enable cross region snapshot to different region. So yes, this is the correct answer because uh, red ship cluster provide the cross region snapshot uh, and it is the fully managed by the AWS and uh, it is automated process. So you no need to do anything. If you are enabling the cross region snapshot, you are fulfilling that uh, that hint 805 kilometers you are achieving the live data and uh, disaster recovery solution you are providing by having this answer so i will go with the option number d i, I have i have taken few more snapshots from the site aws site where they have mentioned like that uh, about the aws multi ability zone they are within the 100 kilometer far away where in the question it is talking about the 805 kilometers so no need to be having any confusion if the answer having availability zone you must not go with the availability zone because it is just pointing to the within 100 kilometer about the cross region replications so you can see that with the aws uh, documentation they are providing the automated cross region snapshot and uh, this is applicable for the amazon redshift so we will go with the answer d enable cross region snapshot to a different region Thanks a lot. Um, I hope you have liked my video. If yes, then please click on the like button and uh, subscribe me. Thanks a lot. We will meet in the next video with the new question.